Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. Uh, my name is John and I have a new album review by the band Bullbeat. Name of the album is Servant of the Mind and it was released today, December 3rd, 2021. So Volbeat, their band, I've known about maybe a couple years now and actually like didn't like them at first. Uh, I thought they were kind of like strange, but after listening to this album a few times and you know, a while back I heard the, their cover of Don't Tread On Me from the Metallica Blacklist album. Yeah, I like that and you know what? I'm a fan of Volbeat now. So I really like this band. I really like this album. This band is from uh, Denmark. They have a very uh, unique style. <clears throat> It's a mixture of uh, rock and roll and heavy metal and rockabilly and they are influenced a lot by Metallica, they're influenced by Social Distortion, by Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. You're probably thinking those are some like really weird influences but they really do make it work. They just kind of like blend it all together and uh, this is a really good band. Lead singer is Michael Poulsen. He sings in a style I guess could be similar to either Elvis or maybe at times he sounds like Glenn Danzig. The band plays uh, very well. They mix up a lot of styles. Some uh, songs are like heavy, like thrash metal. And uh, some songs are like rock and roll. There's like some rockabilly, there's some punk rock, and it has all of that. And the album also has a lot of influence on those like modern rock bands or uh, those goth bands from the early 80s. So I think of bands like The Cure or New Order or Bauhaus. Remember that song, uh, Bella Lugosi is Dead? <laughs> That's been coming up in a playlist lately. I really like that one. But, and it's actually funny because I happen to be listening to a lot of those bands recently. Uh, every time I need a break from metal, I'll listen to some other genre and that happens to be the one I've been listening to a lot recently. But anyway, so it's their eighth album called uh, Servant of the Mind. Kind of a late release for 2021. I know a lot of channels are doing their like top tens or best of lists already. But I think this is a good contender for, um, I guess, whatever metal genre. Or it definitely deserves to be on some type of top 10 list of a metal uh, genre, but it's a long album. There are 18 songs. It's one hour and 18 minutes. Uh, they do include a cover of uh, Don't Tread On Me. That's the one from the Blacklist. They have that at the end. I'm not going to talk about that. I already talked about that in my Metallica Blacklist video. And uh, I'm not going to do uh, track by track. I'm just going to talk about the ones I thought were the best songs on the album. So. First song is called The Temple of Ikur, and they have a lyric video for this on YouTube. Really heavy uh, song in the style of like Metallica, has those chugging guitar riffs. Vocals are very melodic, the chorus is very memorable, and really great opening track with a memorable riff. Wait a Minute My Girl, that's a mix of punk rock and like that like old time rock and roll. Kind of like an amped up uh, Elvis Presley song, it has the saxophone playing, has that like Jerry Lee Lewis uh, style piano playing. It's a short song, but it's a rocker. The Sacred Stones, this is a very slow and doomy song, and they do this very well. It has some really heavy riffs, uh, reminiscent of early Black Sabbath. The vocals sound like a cross between Glenn Danzig and like Ronnie James Dio. It has those like soaring vocals. But at the same time, they're still able to keep melody without losing like that epic heaviness. So then there's a uh, Shotgun Blues. This is the single from the album. They have a music video for this one. Another heavy song, it does have a really big metallic influence. The song has these very like big and bulky and hefty guitar sound and at the same time those melodic vocals. Also some really like heavy like thrash metal riffs. They do another uh, version of the song with Dave Matrice. He's like a, from a death metal band called uh, Jungle Rot and he does some like a death growls on like death metal style vocals. You know, mixing along with those like melodic, like Elvis style vocals. Um, and it's like a really heavier version of this song. But I really like the song, really great, you know. And it feel it, the shotgun blues. Really great one. Another one I like, The Devil Rages On. One of the songs reminds me of those like early goth bands I was talking about. You know, that has those driving bass, bass lines and the haunting guitar riffs. The vocals are a mixture of those like low register vocals and like some harsh vocals mixed in with a little bit of that like Elvis sound. There's some fast guitar riffs remind me of, of that like surf music almost and this would have been a good song for that like uh, MTV 120 minutes uh, back in 1991. Another uh, notable song is Dagen 4. The ballad has uh, lyrics partially in Danish and it's a duet with a female vocalist called uh, Stein Bramson. Uh, she sings in both English and uh, Danish. She's the lead singer of a pop group called Alpha Beat and very catchy song. You can also watch a lyric video on YouTube for this. 
There's another version of the song, uh, it's called the Michael Vox version, and it's kind of like just a heavier version, and it has like male vocals, so you can check that one out on YouTube as well. Another great song, The Passenger, it's a fast-paced punk rock uh, song, kind of similar to like Social Distortion, the song moves at a rapid pace at first, but also has some melodic sections as well. The metal is also present on the song, with some uh, thick and chunky and massive riffs, and those are present towards the end of the song. So if you like thrash metal, you probably like the song Becoming. It's kind of like a classic 80s style thrash metal song that has these like hard and heavy and massive uh, riffing and these galloping guitars in the verse section and also a very like soaring guitar solo on this song. Mind Lock, really cool a Middle Eastern riff on this one. Also sounds a lot like that like Black Era, era Black Album Era Metallica has the heavy and chunky riffs. So if you like that style of metal, you like that song. Last song I'll talk about is called Domino. Now it's a, I think it's like originally by Roy Orbison, but then the Cramps covered it. And this style is kind of like, sounds like more like the Cramps, I guess. I need, actually haven't heard the original, but it's like a 70s, like punk rock style. Um, they mix in some of that like rockabilly as well, but it's kind of like has that like horror punk or goth rock influence. Really cool. If you like the Cramps, I know I've had people tell me I should review the Cramps but I still need to listen to them. So anyway, that, that's all I'm gonna talk about. Um, I really like this album, it's filled with heavy riffs. They change up their style throughout the songs on this album, but at the same time, they maintain their signature sound. And I guess if anybody did have to say anything negative about it, you know, it is kind of derivative, maybe a lot of bands. You could almost say they are kind of like recycling Metallica riffs at time, but I think the band as a whole, they are original enough and they do sound very unique. They don't sound like any other band that's out at this time and uh, I'm definitely interested in listening to their other albums because I like this band now, I am a fan. So, I'm going to give this album a 9 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what you uh, thought of this album. Tomorrow I will be reviewing the two uh, Devin Townsend albums, but I'm just going to do like two videos or two albums in one video because they're, they're two very strange albums. They're very like, one is like very like ambient and the other one is just very like strange like noise rock or something like that i don't know how to describe it but i'm gonna do one video of the two albums then that's it i'm gonna do my anniversary reviews after that and um some end of the year list coming up after that so please remember like comment subscribe check out the other videos and i'll see you in the next one